Whale tube smoking in the Rick Black Warden. Tony Morrison, a mercy. Um, my little note set here. She was born February 18th, 1931 in Lorraine, Ohio. Died August 5th, 2019 in New York. I didn't even know she died. I thought she was still alive, to be honest. Uh, this book was published November 11th, 2008. When it comes to, like, her awards that she won, it'd be a lot easier to tell you the awards she didn't win. I mean, Nobel Prize, Pulitzer Prize, all sorts of prizes. Um, if you go to her Wikipedia page, I mean, the, the list is a mile long. However, none of them were for this book. <laughs> well, that might not be true. Um, New York Times Book of Review named it the best book of the year. So this is my first Toni Morrison. Um, I do have one other one. I showed it in a video earlier this week. Picked it up at a thrift store. I picked this one up at a thrift I mean, obviously, this thing has been... This, I think this actually came from a garage sale. Seen better days, but it was like 50 cents or a quarter, so I, I picked it up. From the second chapter on, I was confused. And it's not because this book is super duper deep or, um, right? There is so much going on and it's not a long book all right so this book is like under 200 pages and the pages you know look like that so we have like three or four to be honest i can't even tell you different like narratives going on and they're like like intertwining and it's really really hard to figure out who is doing what and when and so on. So the, the gist of this book is we have our main man. Uh, his name was Jacob. He, um, I guess, takes on a, um, a slave girl named Florence uh, because uh, he lent some money to a plantation owner and he couldn't pay back and... Um, he says he doesn't like to deal in the in the flesh. Uh, they say, but he has this other. He has this Native American slave too, I think, uh, named Le Lena. And these two are like their stories go back and forth. And someone gets smallpox, and then someone else gets smallpox, and that's all I really, that's all I really grasp, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and it's not, like I said, it's, I was so lost. It's not because, so like, um, I don't know, he was I'm trying to think of something that I read that I was so confused with lately. Um, can't think of something that, just, just say that, okay, say for example, I read some gold if I get lost in this, it, it's probably my fault. Um, either I'm not taking my time and trying to make my brain comprehend um, what's going on, right? This was just badly written. I don't know. This is coming. From, I know I can barely write my own names. So I don't have any room to talk. But I think, I think this, I think she was being too clever for her own britches in this book, essentially. I think if it was either longer, or if we just followed like one singular storyline, or if we were doing the interchanging, intertwining, different, it had to be done differently. I, I can't tell you why or how. Or any of those things. All I can say is that it was really hard to follow. And I, um, so 
thinking, you know, first I thought it was just me, and I, so I went on to Goodreads, and usually, like, if I'm struggling with a book, that's what I'll do, I'll go on to Goodreads, and I'll see what other people are saying, and there's a lot of other people saying the exact same thing, so I don't think it's just, I don't think it's me, I think it's it, I think it, I think it's Tony, I think, I don't think it's me, I think it's Tony, on, the, on this one, sadly. However, with that said, I'm not giving up hope um, just because I think I started off with the dud. There's so many people that, um, that well, I shouldn't say people. I should just say that she has a reputation for a reason with, you know, Beloved and was it Song of Solomon? And like she has a huge following and she won all these prizes for a reason. I th I just think I just started off with the dud book, and I I will uh, I will try Paradise, and if that one works great, if it doesn't work, I'll probably still try Beloved and what the th the three big ones. It's Beloved, Song of Solomon, and is it the blue the bluest of eyes or something like that. Now, those are like the three that you could still even buy at, like Target and Walmart to this day. So um. Yeah, um, <sighs> Tony Morrison of Mercy, they all can't be great, you know, I, I have my bad days, um, yeah, have you read this one, am I, am I spot on, am I just being silly, um, I, I just, I don't think it, it's me on this one, I really don't, just because what, what I can tell, um, I'm definitely not the only one that's, uh, experienced issues of trying to figure out what the heck is going on in this thing so that's it for this one peeps cheers